Hey, this is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle called Steerage by James Sinclair. Um, this puzzle was apparently one of the public puzzles from Artisanal Sudoku 114. This was recommended as a puzzle I should do for, as a good introduction um, puzzle for people who may not be very familiar with the constraints. Um, and as I'm recording for puzzles to get back into the swing of recording, um, it was recommended as something that I would enjoy. And let's face it, the artisanal Sudoku um, puzzles, I'll provide a link to the artisanal Sudoku series below, are really, really good. So um, let's have a look at this one. I'm not sure, I'm recording while I'm taking a break just to relax. Um, I'm not sure when these are going to come out or in what order, so I really can't talk about too much, but um, let's just look at puzzles. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. We have killer cages, which are these dashed lines. And the sum of the digits in each cage is equal to the small number in the top left corner. And digits cannot repeat within a cage. So these four digits will sum to 11. And we cannot make, say, both of those two that um, works by Sudoku, but it doesn't work by killer. Um, we have thermometers, digits on thermometers, which are these line shapes. They um, have a bulb and then the, uh, the digits rise along the thermometer. Um, they increase from the bulb. So this digit is higher than this. This digit is higher than this. This digit is higher than this. Um, digits in cells with shaded square. So those ones must be even. So two, four, six, or eight. So um, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Now, there's a lot going on with these killer cages, so I'm going to start there. So, there are four different digits that have to be put into this killer cage, but the minimum digits you can put in without repeats are 1, 2, 3, and 4, which sum to 10. So, they must be 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, there's something I could do on the thermo here, but I'm going to keep explaining the killer logic first, which is... We know now that the minimum digits that you can put in are 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, I need to go from 10 to 11. Now, the only way I can do that is by increasing one of those digits by 1. So I need to get one more. But if I increase the one by one and go two, two, three, four, I've got a duplicate. So I need to increase one of those digits by one without getting a duplication. And the only way to do that is one, two, three, and five. I have to increase the four. If I increase any other digit by one, I will end up with a duplicate. It's similar logic here but not quite the same, but I'll explain it. So the maximum digits you can put into a cage are six, seven, eight, and nine. And if you add those together, you get 30. So these must be six, seven, eight, and nine. And again, I could do something with the thermo logic, but I'm going to finish explaining the killer logic first. 29 is one less than 30. So I have to reduce one of these digits by one. But if I reduce the nine, the eight, or the seven by one, I will end up with a duplicate. If I reduce the nine, I'd end up with two eights. If I reduce the eight, I'd end up with two sevens that if I reduce the seven, I'd end up with two sixes. So the only digit I can reduce by one is the six, and I end up with five, seven, eight, nine to make 29. It's the only way to do it. People ask me why I go through those fundamental concepts, because if you understand the fundamental concepts of how these killer cages can work when you're close to the extremes, when you're starting to eliminate digits, you can actually Understanding the fundamental concept of something will allow you to move forward more easily because rather than just having to memorize the values that can go in the cage. Because I've memorized that 6789 and 5789, but if you understand the concepts for it, when you start working with like four cell 19 cages with some of the digits extracted, you will be able to work out, out a little bit better. Anyway, now let's look at the thermos. You can't put one partway along a thermo because then what would you put lower than it? So you can't put one here. You can't put two here either because it would need to be um, some two here would need to have the one lower than it. It doesn't work. And you can't put the four here. So, and this needs to be lower than this digit. So this is a one or a two. So one, two, two, three, three, four. And we know one is in one of those. Now, similarly here, this, the, neither of these can be a nine because you need to have something higher than it. And this one can't be an eight. And this one can't be a six because that's not lower than it. So you end up with six, seven, seven, eight. This has to be eight or nine. Now, let's probably go further with this. We know nine is in one of those two. So it's probably these ones. Now you can't put, well, one, two, you can't put one or two in either of these. So these are three and five, which takes three and five out of those. And you know the order because they're along a thermo. This is the three, this is the five. That takes three out of both of those, which makes that the two, that the one. There's no two now in either of those. 
um, this is a one, three, four. Interesting. But the two looks up making that the one and that the two. The one looks back down making that the four, which makes that the three and that the one. That's really cool. I like the way that resolves. But this now has to go down from three. So this has to go two and one. Very cool. Now, I can probably do a similar thing here. Yes, I can't put 8 or 9 here, because if this is 8 at 9, it'd go 10, and I'm already broken. Even if I put anything as low as an 8 here, I go 9, 10, and it doesn't work. I can't put 8 or 9 here. So 5, 7 come out of those, and I know the order of these because they are going up along the thermo. So it has to be 5 and 7, which means this is 8 and 9. Um, the 8, 9 here takes 8, 9 out of here. This is the 6, 7 pair, which makes this 8 and this 9, which would have been another way of doing these, I expect. The 8 here, of course, makes this the 9, which looks down, making this the 8 and this the 9. The 7 looks up, making this the 6 and this the 7. This is all really cool. This has to be lower than 5, so its maximum is 4. The maximum here is 3, but its minimum is also 3, because I can't put 1, 2 in it. So this is 3, this is 4. This is a minimum of 6. This is a minimum of 7, but I can't put 8 or 9 into it. So this is also a maximum of 7. So this goes 6, 7. And these thermos are all fully resolved. Very cool. Now, I can't put 1 into any of those cells. I can't put 1 into the middle of this. And these are all bigger. So I can't put 1 into any of those. So 1 is in one of those two. Okay, this is going to be important, but I'm not seeing... So the minimum is here is 2. I can't put 9 anywhere on this either. So no, because I can't put 9 on the tips here, these all have to be lower than 9. And those have to be lower than 9. But I can put 9 in any of those. It's going to be Sudoku. I'm probably just missing some Sudoku here. 3, 3... Three, three is in one of those two. One, one is in one of those two because these ones are putting one down here, but one isn't even. Well, one and one means that one is in one of those two, but the one here says that's not the one and that's the one. And now one is in one of those three. Mm. Nine is up here, which is similar to the logic with the ones. I can't, nine isn't even. Two is in one of those two. So this can't be two or six. This is four or eight because it can't be two or six. This one can't be four or eight. So this is two or six. This is a GSP puzzle, isn't it? So any two digits that are opposite each other or rotationally opposite each other, sum to 10. Six and So it, around the central cell, this is going to be a five, I imagine, but I haven't proved it yet. But four and six sum to 10, five and five sum to 10. Hang on, can this be a five? It could be if these were six, seven, eight, nine, and this was the those two digits. Maybe. Actually, it might not be possible. I don't know. It fit, Well, five is in one of those. If this is a five, I don't know. It's possible. It is possible, maybe. But so far, this, I know, that's not GSP. So it's not a GSP puzzle. So I am wrong. I've made a mistake. I made a typo down here. These were eight and nine. And the nine made that the eight and that the nine. This is a GSP puzzle. That called out that I made a mistake. That was very, very fortunate, but I haven't used it yet. That was just a typo. I, I'm sw I know that was just a typo because, yeah, that was a typo. It was a dumb typo, but it was a typo. Okay. Now, it is going to be this. But how does I resolve that? This can't be a 5, because then these would have to be 6, 7, 8, and 9. That can't be a 5. This is a 2 or a 3, because if this is a 5, these would all have to be bigger than 5, and they'd be 6, 7, 8, 9, and that's not possible. So this is not a 5. This has to be lower than 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and it can't be 1 or 4. So it's 2 or 3. If it's 3, these would be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... If this is three, I'd have to put two in one of those. That would be a two.
Maximum, oh, the maximum here, that's it. The maximum here is five. Maximum here is four. So the maximum here was three. But the minimum here is three. So two, three, three, four, four, five. Maximum here is eight, which is not that helpful. Maximum here is seven. So this could be lots of stuff. It can't be, well, it has to be higher than two. It can't be three. It could be four. It can't be five. It could be six. So it's four, six, or seven. This is five, six, seven, or eight. That's not helpful. So two is in one of those two. That doesn't feel helpful. I've definitely missed something here. One. So these are one, two, three, four, five. So this is one, two, or five. This is one, two, or five, because three, four looking at them. This sees one and five, so it's two, three, four, but that one doesn't see anything. I'm looking in the wrong place. Two is in one of those. If that's a two, that's a two. Two is in there, that's a two. This is a one star puzzle, but I feel like I've missed something. Seven is in one of those two, but that's not it. Eight, or well, what are these? One, two, three, four, eight. Well, that's a four then. That'll do it. Because it sees three and eight. Sorry, I'm taking four out of there. This is a three, eight. The three looks up making that the eight and that the three, which makes that two, but the four looks down making that three. So this is a triple. One, two, well, that's important because this is the two in the column now. So this is actually one, two, three, four, five, six. These are one and six. So there's no six there because I've already placed the six in the box. The six, of course, makes that the one and that the six. But this two takes two out of both of those. This becomes the six because it sees two, four, and eight. That puts six up here. With the seven, this is a six, seven pair. I missed that way too long. What are these? One, two, three, four, six. Seven. Well, this is the seven because it's the only place I can put the seven in the box. And these are six and nine. The six is looking down, making that the nine and that the six. I mistyped again. I'm doing a lot of mistyping. These, one, two, three, four, five, eight. These are five and eight, and the eight here makes this the five and this the eight. One, two, three, four, five, seven and nine go in. There's no seven there. There's no four there. Okay. Fine. There's no three there anymore, but I still need to put a three in this column. Can't go in any of those. Can't go there. Can't go there. That's the three. The five takes five out of there. Where are the one and the two in this row? Can't put one, two there. Can't put one, two in any of these because of the one, two. So this is a one, two. So this is a seven, nine. And these, one, two, three, four, these are three, four, five. There's no three there. So this is the three. This is a four, five pair, making that seven, which means this has to be higher than seven and it can't be nine. So it's eight. Cool. So one, two, three, four, five. This is a six. That's very cool. I love James Sinclair's puzzles. I really do. Even when I struggle with them, like in this box where the seven, nine is resolved by the seven, that's the nine, that's the four, which makes that the seven. One, two, three, four. These are now five and nine. Even when I struggle with them, I still find them so rewarding. The typo here. Mm. What a nupty. The eight, of course, is making that the four. 
So 4-4 four, four is now putting 4 down here, and this becomes a 3-4 pair. So what in this row? 3-4-5? Yeah, these are all 3-4-5, and that the 5 has to be over here. So that becomes the 1, which makes that the 2, which makes that the 4, and that the 5, which makes that the 4. There's no 4 here anymore. 4 is down here, but not in the bottom one. 4 is in one of those two. Five isn't there. Five is in one of those. That's not it. Six is in one of those two, but it can't be there. That's a six. Seven is down here in one of those two. Nine is down here, but I'm not sure where. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five, seven, and nine go into these. That can't be a 7, and that can't be a 7. So that is actually the 7. So now I've got a triple in this bottom row. Well, there's no 1 there. What is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9. These are 5, 8, 9. That one's not a 9. So the 9 is over here. Hmm... One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So these are five, six, and seven and must contain a five. There's no six there. There's no seven there. But the five must be over here. So that's the nine, making that the five and that the nine. That looks down saying that's not the nine. So in the row, that's the nine. This is so cool. So this is five or eight in order to complete the box. But the five here makes that the eight and that the five, which looks across making that the eight, taking eight out of there. So cool. The five looks up making that the six, which looks across making that the seven and that the six. The seven looks back making that the five. So this is a triple. Two, seven, eight. There's no nine there anymore. So these are two, seven, eight. And there's a two and an eight in the column already. That's the seven. This is a two, eight pair. And I've got an eight making that the two and that the eight. So let's look at this pair. One, two, three, four, five. 1 and 5. So this is just 2 to complete the row. 3 looks down saying that's not the 3. <laughs> so what am I missing in this column? 1, I've got 2, 3, I've got 4, 5, I've got 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is 1, 3, or 5, and it's not a 1. So this is a 3, 5 pair in this box. So this is the 1, this is the 5. The 3, 5 pair made this a 4, as did that looking down. This 2 made this a 1. Could have used that probably. The 3, 5 pair, but that can't be the 5. So that's the 3, that's the 5. This box is missing a 2. I can use the 3 looking over, making that the 4, and that the 3, and that is the solution to the puzzle which was absolutely amazing. That steerage by James Sinclair. Very happy with that one. Good way to start getting back into the swing of things. And if you're one of the, what was it, 1,100 people who've solved this puzzle, uh, 1,500 people who've solved this puzzle, congratulations. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep playing with puzzles and seeing what I can find. Um, I'm just pulling in the recommendations that have been made and just trying to find stuff. Um, I'm not really picking on difficulties at the moment, though um, when I saw that this was an easy one, I, I jumped on it. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, I, I really don't know what's going on. So as always, good luck with your solving.